Allah is great and praise be to Allah in abundance and glory to Allah in the morning, early morning and the late afternoon. There is no God except Allah, the one and only. He fulfilled his promise, helped his servant, وسلم, strengthened his forces and alone routed out the clans. So when the clans came to you know, eliminate the Muslims in uh, the Ahzab, then Allah SWT of course sent his forces and defeated them. And thus, may Allah, Ya Allah, send you forces. We are weak. We need your forces, Ya Allah. There is no God except Allah. He alone will worship, offering him sincere devotion, even if the disbelievers hate it. Oh Allah, oh Allah, send your blessings on our leader, Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and the family of our leader, Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and the companions of our leader, Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and the helpers of our leader, Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and the wives of our leader, Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, who are also known as Ummahat al the, the, the mothers of the believers. And the descendants of our leader, Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and send abund abund abundant peace upon them. So try to, you know, if you don't know it exactly, try to have the gist of what you're saying, and then inshallah, you know, you should say it with conviction, and, and you'll be rewarded even more, inshallah. So let's, let's do a few more times, inshallah. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Allah Akbar, 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 Allah صدق وعده ونصر عبده وعز جنده وهزم الأحزاب وحده لا إله إلا الله ولا نعبد إلا إياه مخلصين له الدين ولو كره الكافرون اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد وعلى آل سيدنا محمد وعلى أصحاب سيدنا محمد وعلى أنصار سيدنا محمد وعلى أزواج سيدنا محمد وعلى ذرية سيدنا محمد وسلم تسليما كثيرا الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله والله أكبر الله أكبر ولله الحمد الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله والله أكبر الله أكبر ولله الحمد الله أكبر كبيرا والحمد لله كثيرا وسبحان الله بكرة وأصيلا لا إله إلا الله وحده صدق وعده ونصر عبده وعز جنده وهزم الأحزاب وحده لا إله إلا الله ولا نعبد إلا إياه مخلصين له الدين ولو كره الكافرون اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد وعلى آل سيدنا محمد وعلى أصحاب سيدنا محمد وعلى أنصار سيدنا محمد وعلى أزواج سيدنا محمد وعلى ذرية سيدنا محمد وسلم تسليما كثيرا الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله والله أكبر الله أكبر ولله الحمد الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله والله أكبر الله أكبر ولله الحمد الله أكبر كبيرا 
والحمد لله كثيرا وسبحان الله بكرة وصيلا لا إله إلا الله وحده صدق وعد ونصر عبد وعز جنده وهزم الأحزاب وحده لا إله إلا الله ولا نعبد إلا إياه مخلصين له الدين ولو كره الكافرون اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد وعلى آل سيدنا محمد وعلى أصحاب سيدنا محمد وعلى أنصار سيدنا محمد وعلى أزوال سيدنا محمد وعلى ذرية سيدنا محمد وسلم تسليما كثيرا الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله والله أكبر الله أكبر ولله الحمد الله الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله والله أكبر الله أكبر ولله الحمد أم I'm going to ask everybody to kind of shift, if they can, uh, this way so that people coming uh, don't have to be crawling over everybody else. So. And then we'll readjust when we start lining up, inshallah. things before I start explaining the Salat uh, itself is one, uh, Zakat al-Fitr. Uh, this is to be paid before the Salat. Um, it is a ransom for your fasting. So this is Zakat on the fast. You know, just like Zakat al-Mal or the Zakat of your wealth purifies your wealth, this Zakat purifies your fast. Otherwise, the reward of the fast is in limbo until it's paid. Uh, the purpose of it is to make sure that those who are less fortunate are also able to take part in the Eid. Uh, and, you know, so if it's paid before Salat al-Eid, then the reward is like Zakat, and if it's paid after Salat al-Eid, it's Sadqa. So that's like the difference between Fard and optional, or Nawafil, uh, which is a huge difference. Uh, so um, if you haven't paid, um, you know, there's a box over there. Um, some places are saying $10, some places 12 some places 15 I basically said 15 because uh, with the inflation, or rather the devaluation of the money, uh, you know, 15 is actually probably more accurate. So there's a box here, there's a box in the women's section, so if you haven't paid, put it in there before the Salat, inshallah, so you get the reward of Zakat, uh, of zakat instead of Sadqa. Yeah, that's for that's to be paid for each member of the family by the head of head of the household of the family. Okay, um, so that's one. Two, uh, just mentioned before, uh, everybody should already know this. Uh, of course, this is the first day of Shawwal, which is the day of Eid. Uh, after today, no fasting today. Fasting on the day of Eid is haram, uh, but uh, the Sunnah is if you fast six additional days in Shawwal then Allah Subhanahu rewards you as if you fasted the whole year. Uh, and I'll be mentioning the Arabic, but I probably won't translate that. So I'm translating it now. Uh, so just remember that. And it doesn't have to be continuous. Uh, it can be broken up any time before the end of the month. Okay? So that's the other thing. Um, as far as the Salat, Salat is first, and Khutbah is after Salat. Unlike Juma, where Khutbah first and then Salat. Uh, the same system though, two rakat Salat, two Khutbah, or Khutbah Thain. So as far as the Salat, we will do it according to the methodology of Imam Abu Hanifa, uh, based on the Hadith that he accepted, uh, which is three additional takbirat in the first rakat, and three additional takbirat in the second rakat. Three additional takbirat in the first rakat are before Surah Fatiha. So Imam will say Allahu Akbar, everybody says Allahu Akbar, ties their hands. 
recite fana, subhanakallahumma, and then Imam will say Allahu Akbar, and everybody says Allahu Akbar, and this time don't tie your hands, just leave them down. And then again Allahu Akbar, and again leave them down. And then the third time, Allahu Akbar, and this time tie your hands, and then the Imam will start Surah Fatiha and Surah, and the rest of the rakat will be the same. The second rakat, the beginning is the same, Surah Fatiha, Surah, the three additional takbirat are before the ruku. So Imam says, Allahu Akbar, drop your hands, I mean raise your hands and then drop them, and then Allahu Akbar, same thing, Allahu Akbar the third time. The fourth time the Imam says, Allahu Akbar, you go into ruku, okay? So it should be simple enough. Don't yeah, don't tie your hands. Uh, easiest thing, follow the imam. Uh, you know, if you know how to follow the imam, follow the imam. Uh, that's the simplest thing. Uh, and then after that will be the khutbah. And khutbah, inshallah, will, everybody who knows, who's been here knows, inshallah, will not be very long. Uh, any questions? There is no iqama, there is no adhan. Khutbah is, is, in Hanafi, you know, khutbah is part of the Salat. Uh, it is strongly enforced. Of course, you know, historically you have like Marwan bin Hakam, uh, who used to lead the Salat in the Masjid of Rasulullah uh, He was one of the kings of Banu Umayyah. He decided to make the khutbah first and then the Salat. And when the companions asked him, told him that the sunnah is to make the salat first and then the khutbah, he says, oh, that's the old way, this is the better way. And this is in hadith, this isn't in the books of Sirah, this is in hadith. And the reason no one would listen to his khutbah is because no one listened to his khutbah. And the reason no one listened to his khutbah is because he couldn't open his mouth without cursing Ali, radiallahu anhu. And that was part of his khutbah. That was a significant portion of his khutbah, was the cursing of Ali, radiallahu anhu. And there are still people today who praise him and, and, you know, because they worship the kings instead of Allah. So, uh, you know, so yeah, the khutbah is, uh, in Hanafi it's really enforced in, in other madhaib, it's, it's encouraged sunnah, uh, but if someone has to go, and there are times when people have to go, then, you know, quietly they can go, but, you know, if you, you should you should try to listen to the khutbah. No iqama, no ruku. So everybody line up. We'll make sure everybody gets make make room. Inshallah. Some room over here. Yeah, you got it. There's room over in the back, so if you can shift towards my left, your right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm out of here. Allahu Akbar. La ilaha illallah. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Walillahi alhamdulillah. الحمد لله الحمد لله الجليل الأكبر الذي لا لا راد لما لما قدر ولا دافع لما أراد من نفع أو ضرر خالق الجن والبشر ورافع السماء بغير عمد ينظر أحمده في العسائل والبكر حمدا أدفع به به السوء والضرر ونؤمن به بالدارين بكتبه ورسله وبالقدر أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له ولا ضد له ولا ملجأ من دونه ولا مفر أحد فرد سمد ليس له صاحبة ولا ولد بل تعالى فقدر وأشهد أن سيدنا ونبينا ومولانا محمد عبده ورسوله وسفيه وخليله سيد الخاص واللب الخير بعثه الله نبيا ورسولا واستفاه وليا طاهرا عربيا مشرفا معذما قراشيا صاحب المجد الأثهر والجبين الأزهر 
وخص بالشفاع العذمى في يوم المحشر اعلموا أن يومكم هذا يوم عظيم وعيد مبارك كريم يوم العيد ويوم الوعيد عيد للأبرار ووعيد للفجار وعن النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم أنه قال لم يزل صومكم أعلقا بين السماء والأرض إلى أن أحد أحدكم يؤدي زكاة صومه كما جاء في الخبر وعليكم بصيام ستة أيام أيام شوال متوالية وغير متوالية قال النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم من سام رمضان واتبعه بستة من شوال فكأنما سام الدهر كله وزينوا بواتنكم بالتوبة كما زي زينتم ذواهركم بالملابس وتذكروا وتذكروا باجتماعكم على هذا يوم المحشر الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله والله أكبر الله أكبر ولله الحمد We find ourselves in another Eid as we have for the last century in which Bayt al-Maqdas Masjid al-Aqsa is in the control of the, uh, of the enemies of Allah and his messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and as much it may hurt some people to hear this, the reality is that for the past century, the Haramain, Makkah and Medina Munawwara, have also been in the control of the enemies of Allah and His Messenger. One control kills us physically, the other one controls the hearts and kills the spirituality. The killing of the spirituality allows for the killing of the physical. And this is what we are seeing the results of today. You know, Eid is supposed to be a joyous occasion. But anyone who has any connection to the Ummah of Rasulullah can't help but <coughs> weep and cry today. <coughs> when we look at the atrocities that are being committed openly, and those committing them have no fear of any recourse or any retaliation or any response. And many people, including non-Muslims, are asking, where are the Muslims? Why, are, why aren't the Muslims united? There's so many organizations working for Muslim unity. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he tells us in the Quran, Surah Al Imran, verse 103, it gives us the formula for Muslim unity. And he also tells us the results of the unity. And the verse starts off with, Ba'da a'udhu billahi min shaitan rajeem, wa a'tasimu bi hablillah jameeun wa la tafarraku. And most of us, we've heard this part of the verse. 
that hold fast to the rope of Allah altogether and do not be divided. And this part we'll come back to, inshallah. وَذْكُرُوا نِعْمَةَ اللَّهِ The rest of the verse. وَذْكُرُوا نِعْمَةَ اللَّهِ وَاذْكُرُوا نِعْمَةَ اللَّهِ إِذْ كُنْتُمْ أَعْدَاءً فَأَلَّفَ بَيْنَ قُلُوبِكُمْ فَأَسْبَحْتُمْ بِنِعْمَتِهِ إِخْوَانًا And Allah SWT is reminding us, He says, And remember the favor of Allah, that you are enemies to each other. And he placed love in your hearts. And by the grace of Allah, you became brothers. And then in the rest of the verse, he tells us how we are on the, pit, on the brink of the pit of the fire. And yet he saved us from it. He, subhanahu wa ta'ala, saved us from it. And the us here are those who are fulfilling the rights of the first part of the verse. And he says, and, we, and he makes clear this, uh, and thus does he make clear his signs so that perhaps you will be guided. So the bottom line is that the love that the Muslims had for each other. You know, when you look at the Sahaba Ikram, the companions of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, who truly were holding fast to the rope of Allah, you know, when you look at them from the outside, you think of them as misfits. Because the reality is they had nothing in common from a worldly standpoint. You have those who are economically very well-to-do and those who are slaves. Those who are from Persia, those from, from Rome, from Abyssinia, from Ar Arabia. Socially, they had nothing in common. Economically, they had nothing in common. You had all extremes. And yet they were one brotherhood because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala placed the love in their hearts for each other. You have the people of Aus and Khazraj, the clans of, of Medina Munawwara, who had for, literally for centuries been warring against each other. And yet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala united their hearts because they fulfilled the first part of the verse which again gets translated as and hold fast to the rope of Allah altogether and do not be divided. But the reality of it is that and hold fast to the rope of Allah altogether so that you will not be divided. But here the question comes, what is the rope of Allah? And Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, Habbalillah, the rope of Allah is the Qur'an. But when we look today, there are more who fast today than there have ever been. <clears throat> there are more alim today, more muftis today, more alimas today than there have ever been. And yet we are more divided than we have ever been. So obviously the Quran that Rasulullah Sallallahu is mentioning here is not our concept of the Quran. You know, there's the Quran is Samit, which is the silent Quran. This is the one we always think of. You know, the book with pages and words 
and we just read it. But then the reality is they are Quran in Asif. The living, breathing, talking Quran. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa he also said something about the Quran. He said that the Quran and his Ahlul Bayt and his household, his family will never be separated until they come and meet him at the Hawth on the Day of Judgment. And Imam Jafar Sadiq, who is the grandson of Imam Zain al Abidin, who is the son of Imam Hussein alayhi salam. So he is the great grandson of Imam Hussein alayhi salam on his father's, father's side. He is the grandson of Qasim bin Muhammad bin Abu Bakr, radiallahu on his mother's side. And Qasim bin Muhammad bin Abu Bakr is one of the seven fuqaha of Medina Munawwara. And all of these seven accepted Imam Zain al Abidin as their master. Imam Jafar Sadiq al Islam is the teacher, of, of, or amongst the teachers of Imam Malik and the teachers of Imam Abu Hanifa. And he's that teacher of Imam Abu Hanifa for whom Imam Abu Hanifa said, He said, If I had not had those two, those two years, I would never have understood anything. And the significant aspect of this saying of his is that these were the last two years of his life. He says that Hablillah is Ahlul Bayt. Because again, Rasulullah said that the Quran and Ahlul Bayt will never be separated. The understanding of the Quran is through Ahlul Bayt. The understanding of the Quran is through the love of Rasulullah. Hablillah is the love of Rasulullah. <coughs> he, sallallahu alaihi wasallam, is not only the messenger; he is the message. He is the explanation to the message. And if we, if when we read the Quran, we do not grow in our love for Rasulullah, sallallahu if we do not become more in awe of him, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. If we do not love the ones that he loves, the ones who were created from him, for him, then we have not read the Quran. We have no connection to the Quran. And if in our fasting in this month of Ramadan, which is the month of the Quran, we did not become closer to Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Then again, we have no understanding of the Quran. We did not fast. Because the purpose of fasting is لَعَلَّكُمْ تَتَّقُونَ To attain taqwa. And taqwa is إِنَّ الَّذِينَ يُغُدُّونَ أَسْوَاتَهُمْ إِنَّ رَسُولِ اللَّهِ أُولَٰئِكَ الَّذِينَ نَمْ تَحْنَبْوَا قُلُوهُمْ لِلتَّقْوَى لَهُمْ مَغْفِرَةٌ وَأَجْرٌ عَظِيمٌ those who lower their voices below the messenger, meaning what? For us. Meaning who humble themselves before Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Allah Subhanahu says, these are the ones whose hearts he has tested with taqwa. And for them is maqfira, forgiveness, and ajr and adhim, a great reward. Today is Yomul Jaza, the day, the day of rewards. This is what Eid is supposed to be. The reward of all the hard work that we did during Ramadan. But again, none of that means anything if we did not attain our goal. And the reality of the goal is again to become closer to Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. This is our situation today. We have separated ourselves from the messenger because we have separated the messenger from the message. Even though in reality he is the message. And so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made us forget our own selves and he has not placed love in our hearts for each other. <coughs> So we, when we see the atrocities, we simply think, ah, there's someone over there. 
because we have no connection to the Ummah of Rasulullah <coughs> Because the only way to have the connection to the Ummah of Rasulullah is to have the connection with Rasulullah That we are always conscious that what I do pleases Allah and His Messenger May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala open our hearts and may He allow us to feel for our brothers and sisters and may He fill those hearts with His love and the love of His beloved Prophet Muhammad his household and his, his companions. May He allow us to become united so that the enemies of Allah, Allah's plan is, is complete. Allah is not in need of any of us. <coughs> and he has created his beloved Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam not in need of any of us. We are the ones who need Allah and we need Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Because there is nothing for us in this world or the next. If we do not have the love of Allah and, our, and His Messenger in our hearts. And again, I don't need to tell everybody our condition. We already know. Whether we acknowledge it or not, different issue. <coughs> so may he give victory to our brothers and sisters who are suffering <coughs> over their oppressors. May he give victory to our brothers and sisters in Gaza. May he allow them to overwhelm their oppressors. And may he make us useful in this effort. And may he give victory to all of the Muslims throughout the world and allow us to see the oppression, the oppression of the souls that has brought us to this point. The oppression of those who in the, in the disguise of Islam take our Iman away. Who we'll talk about Rasulullah Sussam like he is anybody else. Who we'll challenge the knowledge of Rasulullah Sussam, who we'll challenge the authority of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. May he allow us to open our eyes and see their fitna and see this fitna of Dajjal that is all around us. And may he protect us from that fitna. أقول قولي هذا واستغفر الله لي ولكم أجمعين نستعينه ونستغفره ونؤمن به ولا توكل عليه ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهد الله فلا مذل له ومن يذلل فلا هادي له ونشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له ونشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم إن الله وملائكته يسلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا سلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم سل على محمد وعلى آل محمد من سل وسام اللهم سل على محمد وعلى آل محمد بعدد من قاد وقام وصل الله عليه وعلى جميع الأنبياء والمرسلين والملائكة المقربين والخلفاء الراشدين 
خصوصا على خير البشر بعد الانبياء بالتعقيق امير المؤمنين ابي بكر الصديق رضي الله تعالى عنه ولا مزين المنبر والمحراب امير المؤمنين عمر بن الخطاب رضي الله تعالى عنه ولا ولا كامل حياء والايمان امير المؤمنين عثمان بن عفان رضي الله تعالى عنه وعلى مظهر العجائب والغرائب امير امير المؤمنين علي بن ابي طالب كرم الله وجه وعلى الامامين الحمامين السيدين الشهيدين ابي محمد الحسن وابي عبد الله الحسين رضي الله تعالى عنهما ولا امه ما سيده النساء فاطمه الزهراء رضي الله تعالى عنها ولا امه مكرمين بين الناس ابي عمر الحمزة وابي فضل العباس رضي الله تعالى عنهما وسته الباقيه من الاشد المبشره وسائر المهاجرين والانصار والتابعين الابرار الاخيار الى يوم القرار رضوان الله تعالى عليهم اجمعين اللهم اغفر لي ولوالدي ولجميع المؤمنين والمؤمنات انك سميع مجيب الدعوات اللهم عيد المسلمين بالامام العادل والخير والطاعه واتبع سنن السيد الموجودات اللهم اللهم سر من نصر دين محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم واجعلنا منهم واختل من خدر دين محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم ولا تجعلنا منهم عباد الله رحمكم الله ان الله يعمركم بالعدل والاحسان وايتاء ذي القربى وانهاء الفحشاء والمنكر والبغي لعلكم تذكرون اذكروا الله يذكركم ولو يستجب لكم ولا ذكر الله تعالى اعلى واولى وعز وجل وحم وتم واكبر اه يا مبارك